Roblox Peggy is over. Yes, Roblox Piggy is over, but not because of some rumor. Actually, the game will no longer receive any updates apart from bug fixes. A few days ago, RTC tweeted, Roblox Piggy is ending. The next few updates will likely be the game's last. Although the storyline will continue in Piggy Inner City, Minitoon states the reason for the sunsetting of the game is because he wants to move on to other projects. Now, I am a Roblox developer, and games take so much time and energy to make, it sometimes becomes demotivating to continue on the same project every day. Minitoon, being a huge developer, it is like his job to work on Piggy every day. After Book 1 and Book 2, it seems Piggy's main books have come to a completion. You also have other games like Welcome to Bloxburg, the developers make updates every month. In each update, it gets even smaller. We as a community create high standards for developers, so I praise Minitoon for saying that he no longer wants to work on Piggy in the future so he can tackle other projects. Minitoon tweeted out the game's last and final update. Ahoy, the next Piggy season will be the last Piggy season and the last update to the main game, with two exceptions being build mode and bug fixes. It's been a lot of fun working on the game over the years, and I couldn't be happier to have met so many of you through it. After both books were finished, Piggy started on cycles of seasons with different quests. I haven't played Piggy since the seasons were rolling out, only because the game felt out of place with really no new content, this leads us to another thing Minitoon had said. While the journey was fantastic, I have grown so very burnt out of working on this game and have been wanting to work on new projects for a long while now. It's hard to continue updating a, updating a game that doesn't resonate with you anymore. For games as huge as Piggy, I can tell why Minitoon has what we call creator burnout. Creator burnout refers to the idea that over a long period of time, creators will become less and less active and involved in an area because they have no motivation on what to do next. Now, this is 100% what Minitoon is going through, and I'm sure Piggy YouTubers are also feeling not motivated to play this game for their fan base. It makes time, well, it takes time and effort to update games, and without that motivation, there is no hype for anything. Right now, Minitoon feels like updating Peggy really doesn't embrace his full creativity. I'm moving, I'm going to be moving on to other projects from my RTS game, IA2, to a new story focused IP entirely. I have so many fresh ideas for games in my head and unfortunately, having to go back to update this game just holds me from really embracing my creativity. Now, Minitoon isn't really saying he doesn't care for the game because he does. It's more that he doesn't feel like Piggy is how he wants to continue to use his successes and wants to target new, broader audiences. Don't get me wrong, I'm incredibly fortunate to be in this position where I'm able to just make whatever I want without having to worry if they'll be successful. I'm in a situation that arguably any developer would find ideal and I'm forever grateful for you all helping me. Of course, for those looking for more Piggy, Piggy's story isn't over yet and will continue in Piggy Inner City. However, it's a huge project and even with a sizable team, will take some time to make. I'm sure if you stick around, it'll be worth the wait. I will forever be grateful for Minitoon and the success Piggy had over the Roblox players. And I'm also really excited about what's next for the developer and what stories Minitoon wants to share with us. That's all I have for you today, so if you wish, please leave a like and subscribe and join my new Discord server, which is linked below. If you want, please let me know your thoughts on the future of Roblox Piggy. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.